Hello and welcome to the Late Model Stock Series. We are here at Stafford for a fixed race and we are the number two car. Just about ready to head to qualifying and uh, I'm really slow. <laughs> That's uh, kind of the, the usual thing in this car. Um, I get into these races, no, I'm probably at, uh, about to donate some my rating, but that's okay. Still want to try to learn it and get better. I thought I'd do Stafford since uh, I've actually run a, uh, quite a few laps here by now, having run a bunch of the uh, K5 Championship and other um, league events here, as it is a pretty fun track, but uh, not one I'm particularly good at. And uh, I'm in a car I'm not particularly flag, fast in, so okay, I'm just going to try to look to, you know, survive this race, do the best we can, see what comes out of it, all that good stuff. So we'll get our run through one and two. I've been using just a little bit of apron. One more lap. I was like 15th fastest in the open practice session, so probably not going to be qualifying too well here once we're in the race, although that was about as good as I've ever done. That is the best I've ever done. It's a 718, so I'll definitely take that. Uh, so at least I hit my best lap ever with this combo see how far it takes me. Probably not too far. Currently P4 in qualifying, with more to come, I'm sure. But uh, top five here would just be an absolute win. I'll definitely take that. And just looking to hopefully have ourselves a good, clean race. And maybe uh, learn something a little bit. You know, all that good stuff. Been racing some uh, series I don't run very often or not at all so far this week. Arca being the exception, I always like to run Arca. We had a fun race at USA. And then, uh, throw the SK Modified for the first time. It's just the race before this one. And that was pretty cool, so... Now we're hopping into the late model stock. Uh, trying to improve, because... There's a lot of room for improvement. <laughs> E6, P7. Right now, continuing to fall as I expected. This car just, it's so strange to me, because it has so much grip. Just an unbelievable amount of grip, and you can get on the throttle so early, because it's so low-powered as well, that it's uh, it just doesn't really compute in my mind very well. We're all the way down to P9 at this point. I might not be very in front of very many people at all. We'll hop out of the car and see if uh, we actually qualified in front of anybody. Okay, yeah, we're about uh, bottom half the field. And reminder, this is the fastest lap I've ever run. So, when I say that I am uh, going pretty slow, I mean it. And uh, we are going to be waiting for the one. Did they just put that lap in? I don't know. But hopefully uh, they didn't just put that lap in and are planning on making us wait for about a minute and 45 seconds. Sometimes people do that, and that's a bummer because we have this cool feature here on iRacing now where uh, you don't have to wait if everybody's ready. And uh, it seems to happen anyway, sometimes. Whoa, whoa. So I guess we will wait on the one a little longer. I feel like he has had time to run that 19 and a half second lap by now, so we might just be waiting. Unfortunately, but uh, I've got my steering ratio at 12 to 1. And the brake ba uh, balance all the way down to the bottom. That's the end of the session. I'm going to try to get some rotation. I think the only way I'm going to do... I'm going to be able to do anything this race, since I'm not going to have the speed, is to hopefully be okay on the right front. And we'll see if even that happens. So I'm not convinced. But uh, we are getting out there now, so all right. Everybody was ready to go. We're lining up on the inside. Session Close. last lap. Close. Get everything prepared in case we have to take this fast repair. Wow, I didn't realize that the uh, strength of field is so strong. 3.6k strength of field. That's pretty darn good. 
I just assumed because we were the two car. Hit him with it. Well, and not too many people signed up. It was going to be a lower strength of field, but no, we got a pretty good one here. Makes me feel a little bit better about qualifying mid, uh, bottom half of the field. You the damn man. And at least we'll be on the bottom. So there's that. Hell yeah. We'll see if we can move forward at all. Hey, maybe the 7 won't grid up. Never mind. Also, that's the 12. Let's just say maybe the 12 won't uh, grid up and we can go a forward a row. That might be the only way I can actually pass. Follow car number 12 in the inside column. Get rolling here in a moment. We're behind a fellow violet purple car. Is this a third gear start? I don't think so. Seems like we would have to shift pretty quick, but third gear seems really bogged down if you try to start from there. I'm sure it'll be fine whatever we do, because we got a handful of uh, people in front of us to wait behind anyway. Yeah, it should be a good enough start, I think. One to go, next time by. We'll see what we can do. Just gotta try to avoid disaster and get a decent finish. Try to minimize how much I rating we donate, I guess. Getting close to 6,000 would be cool to hit that milestone, but I'm going to get farther away from it here after this one, I have to imagine. Get ready. Going green. Okay, we can take advantage of this bottom start, though. Right car is off. Be ready. Starting on the inside. Someone got loose up there. I mean, lap one, dude. Just try not to run over the guys in front of me. I don't know what you're doing. Outside. You mean you were sideways, but already with okay, we're alive. The car on the high side. Keep plus. I won't still be on start, but it's okay. Clear. Go high. All right, guys, spinning. Thankfully, he does not come across the track. We survived that. I think we're P7. P6, P6 in fact. Okay. So we've been able to move forward a couple spots after some chaos. It helped out the start on the bottom for sure. Got a little bit low there. A little too low, maybe. So far, so good. Further forward than I thought I would be. Not too much movement going on right now. We'll see if guys start uh, going double file up ahead before the end of this. See how tires fall off. I have the feeling my tires are going to be atrocious. I feel like I'm all over my right front. I'm trying to use the apron, get some turn in this thing. Guy behind really catching up quick. Although I think he just got loose down there. It's gonna help us out. Seven up there maybe almost hitting the wall. Just trying to hit some consistent laps. We are almost a quarter of the way through this thing already. Only 40 laps here. Ooh, 
Was that a wall hit up ahead? A puff of smoke, looked like. Pulling away from the guy behind a little bit, that's cool. Really trying to keep it near the bottom on the exit of four, otherwise it can be real easy to start pushing toward that outside wall. Catching up a little bit to the 12. Alright, Colton, the next car is Schumacher. Maybe a little bit. Still a decent uh, distance away. I overdrove that pretty bad. all over the apron there. I think it worked out pretty well for him though. What's the single file up ahead right now it looks like? It's still a lot of race to go. behind about half a second so he's about the same distance behind us as the guy is in front of us take a little extra apron there see what happens not as good of a runoff but kind of worked It's pushing out to the wall pretty far on exit there. I think that uh, we got a little more speed by keeping it down lower. Okay. Something to that. Awkward on my pedal work there. And we continue reeling the guy ahead in, little by little. I don't know what I plan on doing when I get there. So I'm just going to need a mistake, probably. Ooh, I almost hit the wall just like he did. Step up on me. Gap is growing behind us. That is comforting. Don't have to worry about that as much. At least until I start missing my marks or something. I think the guy ahead has gotten himself into a pretty good rhythm. He's not making too many mistakes. I kind of rode the transition to the apron there, and that actually was pretty fast. It's a fine line to hit, though. I don't know if I'd be able to do that consistently. I think the 12 is lowering the gap between him and the 7. Little by little. That could be interesting if they... Uh, end up right next to each other. I 
hit a big gap behind us all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. The guy just fell off, or if he uh, had a mistake. But over a second behind us now, which is interesting. It's starting to get pretty tight. As I figured, I think uh, we've been pretty bad to our tires. I had driving in really hard, trying to uh, get to the 7, I think. Hey, that works pretty well, using all that apron. We might have to do more of that. Hmm, okay, I think I found something. Gonna use more of that apron. Maybe not when this, uh... It's coming up, though. It's off the track. Let's use that apron. Often a, a realistic option here at Stafford. Using the apron for some more turn, and I really like how that felt. Now that the car has gotten tight a little bit. Still gotta hit my marks though. Ooh, he's kinda getting sideways maybe. Whoa, big hit for the seven ahead. He clobbered that wall. Big drive in for the 12. Great job, game to go. What do we got for him? Right on his bumper. Green car down low, we're gonna have to watch out for that. That was a twenty point zero. Outside, clear high. By him. That was kinda awkward, but we figured it out. Three car battle right here, we're all pretty close to one another. That lap was And sort of able to reach the back end of his car, but not sure how we'll be able to get around him potentially, if at all. Five to go, coming up to the end of this thing. <laughs> Spotter says less than optimal. I feel fine. I'm sixth place. I move forward. I'm happy. Hopefully the lap car does not battle us. He's right behind us. Hopefully he's smart about this. Lap times are pretty consistent. Just can't seem to get any sort of run or get close enough to actually do anything about this. I'm trying though. You've got two laps and everything I got, two laps to go. Two laps remaining. You've just done a twenty point one. All over the apron. 
I appreciate y'all. That was, that was super nice of you to say. Why is that guy almost winning in the back of me? Yeah, man, go get him. Gee whiz, man. Okay, we survived. Can we do anything on this final lap? No. All right. Good race. Good win. Sixth place. Okay, that's the end. Good finish. All right, P6. I will take it. Thank you. Ooh, three gets the win. You did really well. And we will get a P6 after starting ninth. I'm definitely happy with that. With how slow I was feeling. Get around a couple guys that had trouble early. We'll see that in the incidents here in a minute. And don't make any mistakes ourselves. Nothing major anyway. So we'll pull out a, a clean run and a decent finish. Ninth to sixth. So 69.82 were my right sides. As so I figured, right front not looking too good. But uh, I wasn't really doing too much about that. I knew I wasn't going to be very good anyway. And I just needed to focus on trying to know how to drive this car. And uh, with the brake bias all the way back, at least I had that going for me. Right, let's see what did happen, especially in these opening laps that resulted in our, uh, us getting some spots. So lap two, Ken's getting on the apron and the one cuts down on him. I think maybe the one got loose. So a mistake from a 7,600 I rating guy here. Yeah, it looks like he's kind of getting loose and he just comes down and hits the 10. Ends the 10's chances. Sixteen eventually became a lap car. Don't think it was because of that hit though. That was a pretty minor hit. The ten, after having been uh, wrecked, probably a little frustrated. He's not really taking it too seriously. I don't think. It looked like he was doing some straightaway swerving. Sixteen's uh, getting acquainted with the wall some more. Still haven't seen what brought him to a lap down though. Eleven in the wall. Already to lap 15. And we're seeing car 15 hit the wall. 10's rough race continues. He's going to get some more wall right there. And again. Just, uh, no grip in that thing for him, it looks like. Just going to skip ahead. Don't quite need to see uh, all these wall hits. We'll see uh, if we've got any more contact, though. 13 looking like he's going to hit the wall and exit right in front of the 9. They're, uh, they're able to avoid any uh, additional accident, though. There's the 7 hitting the wall. Got it pretty good there. I think I remember seeing that. Not much going on here. 11 trying to get past the 10, I guess. Here we are with 2 to go and uh, 2 lap cars in front of... P2, trying to catch the leader. And uh, the race is over, so not sure what happened to uh, the 16. Put him laps down, but uh, we do get ourselves a P6. Tried my best to run down the uh, 12, or even the 7 in front, but uh, couldn't quite do it. Felt like I was making modest gains, but just uh, I could get up to the, the back end of them, but there was just nothing more I could really do from there. I needed a uh, mistake. I think. Didn't really get one, but started using that apron. Gave us a little bit more speed. That was interesting. That was kind of fun going all the way down there and uh, seeing green on the session last lap. And uh, we'll see the race results here. All the official numbers. 3678 strength of field. And we get us P6 and lose 9i rating. So basically breaking even. I count that as basically keeping it flat keeping it right around the same what i already had and uh, i definitely will take that considering uh, like i said at the start of this thing usually i'm donating some i rating when i sign up for late model so to get a p6 that's pretty good stuff 141 championship points definitely a nice chunk of them there and the four got the fastest lap but the three gets the win you see here uh, going down here are the rest of your results 
down uh, to the 16 in 16th. So I suppose that will do it for this one. We did, in fact, have three splits. And uh, we were in the top of them. And uh, I can feel happy with where I finished here. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.